Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Winchester Wednesdays. Sorry about the video that was supposed to come yesterday. Um, I had some problems with my camera. Don't actually know what was up with it, but it just wouldn't actually open or work or anything. So, yeah, that's the problem we've had with that. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the status from the video that was going to come yesterday into today's video as well. So, it's going to kind of be like a, a double section video. So, bear with me and we'll get through this. Um, the topic of um, this week's episode, I'd like to be about the snow, especially snow in Britain. Now, over the weekend, we've had a lot of snow in the UK, um, especially Wales. Wales got hit really bad with it. Um, they had red warning put out. It's It just astounds me how much Britain can actually come to a standstill. We get snow every year, and yet, you know, roads close, people can't get to work, college, school, university. And it absolutely astounds me that, you know... The way we handle the snow is absolutely poor. I mean, where I'm from in my area, I've not seen one gritter at all. The roads are like sheets of black ice. It's absolutely disgusting. I've been mean, the right mind to write a complaint to the council because somebody's actually going to, you know, especially people out there who are motorbikes or scooters, then, you know, all it takes is one slip. You're going to get seriously injured just because the council can't be asked to grip the roads or they haven't got the funding for the grip for the roads they're a council and you know we expect them to do their job just like when you go to work in this shit weather and you're expected to do your job you know it's not one rule for one and one for the other it kind of pisses me off a little bit but um i've heard that on friday we're going to get even more snow so we've got that to look forward to and i've just seen on the news there's going to be a yellow warning for snow tonight not amber it's yellow in the UK anyway. I don't know what it's like for the rest of the world, but if it, feel free to comment let me know how it is in your part of the world. But it's it's shit here, believe me, it's shit. So yeah, um, on to my weekly gaming news. Uh, I've not really done much this week apart from play WoW. I've not played WoW that much actually. I've played it for a couple of days while the weather was bad, but I've been out mostly doing other things. Also trying to get this fucking camera sorted, but it's working now, it's the main thing. Um, I said I was go in my last video. I said I was going to slow down during the Lich King, but I'm already 77. Um, I started training professions, which is pretty good. Uh, beats just randomly killing things, and I'm quite enjoying that now. I've been playing with uh, Matt a lot recently, and uh, he's 85 now, which is pretty good. Um, I've also been talking to James, even though he's not in the same realm as me, and um, he's just hit 90 on his Paladin. So you know we're all doing well. And, you know, it's just nice to have, you know, a few friends I can actually sit and play a game with for once. Instead of, you know, I've, I've kind of gone off at PS3 a bit. You know, the last PlayStation, last PlayStation Store update I got was a little bit shit. Uh, with the exception of Mortal Kombat, I did kind of enjoy that. But the rest really weren't that amazing. Kind of disappointed with the turnout. Uh, I believe it's just come or it's due to come soon. There's another PlayStation Store update today, so I'll probably post on the Vertex Spider page what's free. I'll let you guys know. If you if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber, then you'll be able to see what's for free if you've not had a chance to check it yet. If you're not a PlayStation Plus subscriber, well, you're an idiot. I mean, people pay £40 a year for Xbox Live, like I said in my last video, and we can pay £40 a year for free games. If you're not subscribed to it, well, you're lost, really. But yeah, <laughs> uh, just got a couple of questions to go through. I've got a load of shout outs I've written down here. We've got a load to go through. So I'm going to read down the list as I've wrote them. They're in no particular order. So yeah, we've got first is Josh Toon. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate that. Um, Jess Lambswood would like a shout out. Jake Riley, Megan Prince, Sarah Jackson, Kendra Tiny, Matt Cross, Abby Nichols. Brendan Lewis! I only did that because he'll just he'll be sat at the computer laughing now while he's watching this. Easy to make him laugh. Big shout out to James Butterworth as well. And I'm sure I forgot somebody. Oh well it can't be that important. Anyway, I've got a couple of questions to get through. And the first question comes as I have a question for your video. If you could do if you could direct a remake of any film with a limitless budget and what would it be and what would you do with it um actually there is one film i'd like to see remake but with the original actors and it would be back to the future because as you know back to the future part two is set in 2015 which is only two years away from now and they've got the uh i, I know it was made in like 
the 80s, but we have like flying cars and Black and Decker hydrators. Obviously, Black and Decker are no more now. Um, and the effects, the effects are pretty good for its time, but I think, we, especially when you look at newer films like Twilight and Harry Potter, where they go to extensive, you know, lengths to make effects look good, I think a remake of Back to the Future would be brilliant. But I would only have it if you could have Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly, if you had Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown. But obviously, with Michael J. Fox suffering from Parkins Parkinson's disease these days, it it's it wouldn't be likely, but if I could, that would be the film I would do. Um, another question comes from James. When will you see me again? Um, I don't know, but it's been nearly six years since I've seen you. Now, James is an old school friend of mine. He's probably the only person I actually talk to from school these days. And after we left school, I did see him a couple of times, but it's been so long now. Soon, James. I'm going to have to make an arrangement to see you soon. You're a funny guy, and I do miss you. So, yeah. And the last thing I want to get on to is um, the, uh, what, the post I put up the other day for the voting for the uh, colour of the cover photo, for, you know, for the logo of the Vertex and Spider page. Um, the votes came in. They've been closed now, so don't vote anymore. Your votes will not count. But the winning vote is Aqua. So I will be changing that later as well. I've pretty much gone over everything and that's all I've got to say this week. So I hope you have a good week. Um, a good weekend in the snow if you're going to go out and enjoy it because there is more on its way. And I'd like to give a shout out to Hayden Lee because I didn't forget you. I remembered. I was just screwing with you. But yeah, I'll see you later guys. Bye.